And I said, is there a way to combine my passion now for cancer research and cancer biology and the unique microgravity environment in orbit and on the International Space Station? And I found a pathway. Okay, so tell us more about the research that you're doing on the International Space Station and why it has to be done in zero gravity. Absolutely. So, you know, at first glance, it's it seems like, you know, it's a tool that um, might not really help. Um, but as I began to look into what's been done already, there's been a reasonable amount of um, science experiments focused on cancer done in microgravity. And we noticed some very unique features that microgravity can induce in cancer cells. In some cases, it will accelerate the cancer's trajectory towards becoming a more aggressive cancer. In other cases, it can actually slow down other types of cancer. From experiments with gastrointestinal cancers, it seems that they become more aggressive, and that's the can cancer type I focus on. So there's really a unique application here for patients, and that is, and this is really my vision, if we could take a sample from a patient who has a new diagnosis with a gastrointestinal cancer and fly it on the International Space Station, my hypothesis is we can accelerate that cancer's trajectory towards whatever destiny it has in store. And if that's more aggressive, then we can deconstruct what the switches are that it turned on to become that aggressive cancer. If we can understand those switches and we're doing it in a way that we have a glimpse into the future, then the patient in my clinic, of course, here on earth, we can make decisions to reverse those switches and to avoid that aggressive cancer and poor outcome in the future.